Hey guys, this video is a little overdue for how long I've had them, but today I want to talk about my Wolverine claws. During the time I was working in film and television, I was having a really hard time coming back here, making videos, having the time and space for that, but it didn't stop me from collecting props. And one prop I've always kind of wanted was the Wolverine Claws from the first X-Men movie. Now, there's been lots of different versions of this prop throughout the years. Uh, it, it's changed pretty much in every movie, little tweaks to major tweaks. Uh, in the very first couple movies, they had a very distinct look, and then they ended up, uh, you know, slimming them down, making them work a little bit better for them. Like most props do, if you have a long-term franchise, you're going to have changes and tweaks to your props, costumes, you name it. And it's really cool, and it's great to see how things evolve. Like, even things like Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from A New Hope to Empire Strikes Back was different because they found better ways to do things. They they corrected mistakes from the first one, and, and that's what happened with these Wolverine Claws. But I've always really, really liked that first one. Now, when you first saw these in the in the film, it was, it was amazing. I remember being in the theater and having Wolverine's claws pop out of his hands. That was really cool and I've always really just loved that scene. That's the and you got the middle claw coming slowly up. Come on, that was probably one of the best pieces. Not only because uh, it was new, X-Men at that point hadn't really been done. There was all these different heroes and Wolverine was quite popular from the 90s TV cartoon series, but it was the fact that they looked real. We got to the point with CG and practical effects and we were starting to blend them together really, really well, especially in the first X-Men movies, not so much in other Wolverine properties. But I was really, really happy with how they looked. They looked so good. They looked sharp. They looked aggressive. And I just, I fell in love with them. Now, again, there's been some changes in the in the, in the the later on in the franchise with how they changed the, the claws. And, and I hope later on to talk about another set of claws I have that I got from my daughter based on the X-23 ones. But, and again, during that time, they had to, already perfected how they are. But basically the whole idea is pretty much stayed the same and that is how do you hide claws in the hands? In the comics and in the cartoons, the claws for Wolverine kind of came from the top and it went out like this. They couldn't do that obviously for prosthetic wise, it involved a lot of work, a lot of making sure that you can fight with them. And so they came up with this compromise where they'd actually come out of the, the knuckle and which has actually bled into other comics and cartoons and other media. One thing about all of the Wolverine claws is they all had a hidden grip right here, wires that bent up, and then held the claws. So it was all just held by hands, which is, like I said, very, very clever. And obviously using CGI and other techniques to actually make them look like they come out of the hand proper. Now here's my claws. Now the one thing about these claws is they are from Dark Matter Props on Etsy. You can still get them. I'll have a link in the description below. It doesn't always have them up every time, so just keep an eye on them when you're looking for them. Now these are one of my favorite ones that I grabbed mainly because of how they went together. It's a nice, nice system. Now you have to put together the kit yourself to make it form your hand. What works for one hand doesn't necessarily work for another. So to kind of circumvent that, he basically makes a kit version of this. As you're looking here, you can see that the post extends pretty long and it's up to you to kind of trim them and put them in the grip piece so that you can actually uh, wrap around your knuckle. And it's, it's, it's actually kind of fascinating. You know, when you have, have these to put on and you give them to someone else to try on they, they don't quite fit and they don't quite work which is great now one of the things i really wanted like i mentioned before is the x1 claws mainly because these right here these little arms come up i like the way they look on the hand they actually look like they're coming from the hand as opposed to just from the knuckle later on they remove those but like i said these are my favorite after bending these into shape and putting them in his palm grip here they just screw together so i can always take these apart and bend them and they're very flexible to bend back and forth if something doesn't quite look like it's doing the right thing and after you get it done all you have to do is slide your hand in and then wolverine claws i'm hoping this is looking as cool on camera as it does in person but i've just i've always just really loved this look i have zero intention of ever doing a costume for this. That is not the point. Not every prop do I ever have do I actually want to do a costume or something. Uh, but I just, look at this. This is so cool. This is probably one of my more fun props. I will grab them sometimes and just kind of like <laughs> The downside of having a prop like this is you can't actually have them come out of your hand. No special effects or anything like that. But you can see how they work. You, the, the palm grip is actually hidden quite well. You can't really see and depending on how you hold them, it does just look like you're holding it there. This looks a lot better with practical claws than other claws 
if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, these are really cool and I would highly recommend Dark Matter props if you're looking to get yourself some Wolverine Closet for fun, for cosplay, whatever. Obviously as well, if you want to get the later versions of these where they just come out of the knuckles and not out of the, the top of the hand, you can get those. I can see how these after a while would kind of irritate hands. So I totally understand why they changed it for the film, but also why cosplayers prefer either different versions. The one thing I did do on this that was actually pretty fun is I add a piece of Velcro on the palm here so that I can attach them to this little display that I made just because I didn't want them just like laying down and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. I love these. These are kind of fun to have just to just slide on and you know, I'm Wolverine. It's, it's a nice aggressive prop that it's pretty lightweight. They are resin. They're they're not metal. They they don't you don't have to worry about any of that, anything like that. Uh, but they look they look really good. They look really authentic. When I'm wearing these, it looks like the ones in the film, and that to me is kind of half the battle. If you guys have any questions about these, please ask me down below. And which version of the claws are your favorite? Do you prefer the comic version, the animated version? Do you prefer the X1 versions? Do you prefer the Logan versions? The Bone Claw versions? There's so many versions of these. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. Anyway guys, thank you so much for for coming along and, and uh, seeing this with me. <laughs> Let me share this with you. But thanks, and but thank you so much for, for your subscriptions, for liking this video. But as always, thanks for watching.